Hey family. Qué gusto estar con ustedes. It's an honor to be here with you guys. Que tengan muy buenos días. Good morning. Me encanta verlos. I love to see you. Son una congregación muy linda. You guys are beautiful looking Porque um, church. Tienen pastores muy lindos también. Because you have beautiful pastors as well. Denle un fuerte aplauso a sus líderes, a Give todos los que trabajan en la iglesia. Give a round of applause to all the leaders, everybody who works at church. <laughs> Para mí siempre es un privilegio compartir la palabra de Dios. For me it's always an honor to be able to share the word of God. Estoy absolutamente convencido. I am convinced. La palabra de Dios. That the word of God. Nos comparte verdades. It shares with us truths. Que nos ayudan a vivir mejor. That help us to live better. No necesariamente en los parámetros del mundo. Not necessarily within the parameters of the world. El mundo cree. The world believes. Que vivir bien. To live well. Solamente se reduce a tener dinero. That it's reduced to the concept of having money. O quizás ser famosos. Or maybe to be famous. Y obviamente tener dinero y ser famoso no tiene nada de malo. And obviously to have money and Pero be famous there's nothing gente. wrong with it. But I also know que tiene people dinero, that have money que es famosa, and that is famous no vive feliz. and that they're not happy. Así que hay algo más. And so there has to be more. Y eso es una vida llena del Santo. And that is a life filled with the Holy Spirit. Vida está con Dios, When our life is aligned with God y se en sus verdades, and it's sustained in His truth nos va mejor then it goes it, que we do better la que le va bien en el mundo. we even do better than those people that actually do well eso? in the world. Do you believe Dale that this morning? Thank you, God, the glory with an applause. Come on. Por eso es tan importante venir a la iglesia. That's why it's so important for us to come to church. To congregate, to be part of a church. Ser parte de la familia de fe. To be part of the family of faith. Y compartir lo que nos enseña la palabra de Dios. And also share what the word of God reveals to us. Luego de la resurrección. And you know, after the resurrection. Y justo antes de la ascensión. And right before the ascension. Jesús miró a los discípulos una última vez. Jesus came to the disciples one last time. Y les dijo lo siguiente. And he said the following. Y recibirán poder. And you will receive power. Cuando haya venido a ustedes. When the Holy Spirit has come upon you. El Espíritu Santo. The Holy Spirit upon you. Y en el capítulo siguiente. And the next chapter. Que es el capítulo 2 de Hechos. That's um, Acts chapter 2. Sucede esa escena que conocemos como Pentecostés. Then we know a Pentecost someday. El Espíritu Santo viene a la iglesia. And that's where the Holy Spirit descends upon the church. Y atención. And attention, Porque desde entonces, because since then, no es que el Espíritu Santo viene, it's not that the Holy Spirit comes o nos visita, or visits us cuando el culto está bueno. when the church service is going well. <laughs> Sino que él viene a morar en nosotros, but rather the Holy Spirit lives inside of us. Siempre, todos los días. Always, every day. El apóstol Pablo le dice a los Corintios, the Apostle Paul says to the church in que Corinth somos that we are templo del Espíritu. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Por eso, como decíamos hace un, unos minutos, and that's why we said just a couple minutes ago. Podemos adorarle al Señor siempre. That we can always worship God. No solo en el templo. It's not just within the church. Y eso walls. no solo es bueno para Dios o para la iglesia. And that's not just good for God or for the church. Eso es bueno para nosotros. It's good for us. Porque cuando hacemos eso, because when we do this, nuestra vida se renueva en el espíritu. Our life is renewed in the spirit. Nuestra vida, nuestra vida gana la vida del espíritu. Because then our life then gets more of that Holy Spirit. Así que esta mañana, so this morning, yo te quiero hablar. I want to talk to you all disfrutamos about how we la, can enjoy la vida cristiana en el espíritu. The life in Christ in the Holy Spirit. Y hay una pregunta de fondo para llegar al tema. And there's a, a question I want us to touch on before we get to yes, this. ¿cuál es nuestro rol? What is our role? En la ecuación de disfrutar la vida en el espíritu. In this equation of being able to live a life where you actually um, are in the blessing of a Christian life. El the Holy Señor Spirit. envió a su Espíritu Santo. So God sent His Holy Spirit. A nuestras vidas. To our life. Eso no depende de nosotros. And that is not something that we Eso did. Eso depende de él. That depends all on God. Pero sí depende de nosotros. But it does depend on us. Alinearnos con sus planes. To align ourselves with His plans. Para sacarle el jugo a esta realidad. So then we can get the most of it. Para aprovechar el efecto de esta verdad. So we can take advantage of the effect of this truth. Y hay tres cosas que nosotros debemos entender. And there's three things that we must understand. Listos. Are you ready? Todos trajeron sus neuronas. Do you guys brought your, you know, your um, brain cells? Seguro. <laughs> are you, are you ready? Salandear un poquito el de al lado así está bien despierto. Okay, go ahead and wake the person up next to you. Make sure they're awake. La primera verdad es esta. The first truth is this. 
Para disfrutar una vida en el Espíritu, in order to enjoy a life in the Holy Spirit, necesitamos alinearnos we need to align ourselves con el propósito de Dios para nuestras vidas. With the purpose of God for our lives. Hoy hay mucha gente por ahí and there's so many people out there que cree que no tiene propósito. that think that they don't have a purpose. Pero según la Biblia, But actually, based on the Bible, eso no existe. that's not true. Escúchame con mucha claridad. I want you to listen to me right now. No existen personas sin propósito. There is not one person that doesn't have a purpose. No existe. It doesn't exist. Solo hay personas que lo ignoran. There's only people that ignore their purpose. Algunas que lo rechazan. Some people that reject their y purpose. Y las personas que lo abrazan. And there's others that embrace their purpose. Repito eso, porque es importante. I want to repeat this because it's very important. No existen personas sin propósito. People without a purpose do not exist. Solo existen personas que lo ignoran. There's only people that ignore their purpose. Personas que lo rechazan. There's people that reject their purpose. O personas que lo abrazan. Or there's people that embrace their purpose. Eso quiere decir. That, that, that is what it says. Eso quiere decir. Yeah. That means. <laughs> that means, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. That means. Que tú tienes propósito. That you have a purpose. Según la Biblia. Based on the Bible. Tú fuiste escogido. That you were chosen. Para la alabanza de la gloria de su gracia. So that we can give glory to God. Mira, mira, mira este texto hermoso. The, Efesios capítulo primero. Ephesians 1, 3 to 6. 3 al 6. Says the following. Praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms in every spiritual blessing in Christ. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love, he predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will to the praise of his glorious grace, which he has freely given us in the ones he loves. Este es un texto maravilloso. This is a beautiful text. Dice que Dios nos escogió It says that God chose us aún antes de que naciéramos even before we were born y que lo hizo and that he did so para que fuésemos santos so that we would be saints no porque éramos santos not because we were saints sino para que fuésemos santos so that santos. he would make us saints y lo hizo porque quiso And he did it he to, con este propósito with this purpose, que seamos that we would be alabanza de la gloria of his de su gracia. Grace. Yo sé que eso puede sonar un poquito religioso. And I know that can sound a bit Así que words. vamos a explicar. So let's explain this ¿Qué es alabar? What's praise? Alabar es destacar lo bueno. Praise is to see the good. Es ver que alguien se destaca por algo. You see that somebody does something good. Cosas simples como, ¿te queda bien esa ropa? Oh, mm. I, I love the, what you're wearing. Y eso lo hizo para destacar la gracia de Dios. And so he did this so that we would have the grace of God. ¿Qué es la gracia de Dios? What is the grace of God? Su misericordia. His uh, mercies. Su amor. His love. Su perdón. His forgiveness. Así que en otras palabras, In other words, Dios te eligió He chose you, para God que el mundo you, al ver tu vida so that the world, at, when they see your se dé cuenta they would, it would be que Él es bueno. That he is a good God. Por eso That's why, es que Dios no solo puede hacer cosas buenas con tu vida Escucha life. esto I want you to listen. Listen. Dios quiere hacer cosas God buenas con tu wants vida to do good things with your life. Come Porque on. al fin y al cabo Because Tú le estás Finally, at the end of the day, you le are representing him. La gente cree o no cree que Dios es bueno, People believe or don't believe that God is good. Según nosotros, los cristianos, based on us Christians, nos comportamos, the vivimos, way that we act, the way actuamos. that we live, the way that we are. Nuestras vidas Our lives tienen el propósito have the purpose de representarle. To represent God. ¿Y cómo hacemos eso? And how do we do this? Vamos al capítulo siguiente de Efesios. So we're going to see Ephesians 2.10. It says, En Efesios for, capítulo 2, versículo 10. Ephesians 2.10. Dice says, lo siguiente. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Dios te escogió God chose you y te diseñó and he designed you para que el mundo al ver tu vida so when the world sees your life, se dé cuenta that it would be evidence que vale la pena confiar en Él. That it is so worth it y para to lograr trust eso God. And for us to to get to that tienes point, que ser un agente de bendición we have to be people of blessing. y de 
gracia and of grace en la vida de otras personas. in the lives of other people. A mí me encanta el nombre de esta congregación. I love the name of this church. Porque gracia yes, because grace es la palabra que nos diferencia is the word that differentiates no us, solo del mundo not just of the world, sino de todas las otras religiones but, de la civilización but humana. Also of all of the other religions in this world. Presta atención a esto. I want you to pay attention to this. Todas las religiones all religions, todas all of them, hablan de obedecer always talk about obedecer Obedience. A, a Dios, obedience to a God que or ellos crean. to whatever God that they believe Todas. in. All of them. Todas esto. All of them teach on obedience. Bien. You have to do things La good te va a because then that, the God, that deity, is going to bless you. Mal. If you're bad, La deidad, then that deity va is going to come and curse you. Eso lo That's what is preached Todas las on all, in all of the religions. But Christianity no. El cristianismo no. But in Christianity, that's not the case. <laughs> en el cristianismo, in Christianity, Dios, God, nos ama. He loves us so much. Antes, even before, de que nosotros hiciéramos nada. That we could do anything for Him. Luego nosotros le amamos a él. Then we, in response, love Him. Porque él nos amó primero. Because He loved us first. O sea que nos dio gracia. Because He gave us. Y no nos ama porque nos portamos bien. And he doesn't love us because we do good. Nos ama porque él es bueno. He loves us because he is good. Si Come nos on. portamos bien, if we do good, nos va mejor. We will do better in life. Y si nos portamos mal, and if we're not doing good things, luego sufrimos las consecuencias. Obviously, we're going to suffer the Pero consequences. Pero eso no cambia el amor de Dios. But that doesn't change God's love for you. Dios nos ama porque él es amor. God loves us because He is love. Esa es su identidad. That is His identity. <laughs> Esa es su esencia. That's His essence. Por eso el apóstol Juan, and that's why the apostle John, escribe esta declaración teológica. He wrote this. Theological declaration. Simple, it sounds so simple. Muy profunda, but it's a very profound declaration. Dios es amor. God is love. Ahí no dice que Dios tiene amor. It doesn't say God has love. O que Dios ama los que se portan bien. Or God loves those who do good. Como enseña la religión. How religion teaches. Ahí dice que Dios es it says that amor. God is love. Alguien que le dé un aplauso. Can Dios. someone give God the glory this morning? <laughs> Come on. Y nuestro propósito entonces And so our purpose es compartir ese amor. Is to share that love. Y cuando compartimos ese amor, And when we share that love, el Espíritu Santo nos llena. The Holy Spirit fills us. Cuando estamos alineados con ese plan, when we are aligned with that plan, nos va mejor a nosotros. We do better in life. Vivimos entusiasmados. Right, we live with enthusiasm. Porque somos parte de una gran causa. Because we are part of a great cause. Todos sabemos que hoy hay mucha gente deprimida. We know that nowadays there's so many people that are suffering depression. Llena de ansiedad. Or anxiety. Y el mundo dice and the world says que lo contrario de la ansiedad y la depresión that contrary to depression and anxiety es algún tratamiento médico. should be some medicine. Pastillas. Some pills. Aquí en los Estados Unidos, Here in the United States, prendemos la televisión en la noche, we turn on the TV at night, y casi todas las publicidades, and almost everything that's on the commercials, son de medicamentos en contra de la depresión. Are all pills to come and help you Aunque with depression. Te hacen la advertencia. But they always say caution. Un, un posible efecto colateral. Maybe a, one of the you know effects, the collateral effects es of this. Es la vida. Is that you want to kill yourself? <laughs> Suicide. Increíble. It's incredible. Son pastillas para evitar la depresión. They're pills to help you with depression. Pero te advierten. But yet they come and caution que you. Que puede ser todavía peor. That it can be actually worse for you. Mis hermanos queridos. Okay, brothers and sisters. Lo contrario a la depresión. The, the contrary, the opposite of no depression. No es un It's not medicine. Se llama. The name is. Propósito. Purpose. <laughs> Cuando sabemos por qué vivimos when we know why we live, y conocemos el amor de Dios and we know the love of God, y empezamos a compartirlo and we begin to share that, nuestra vida se llena our life is filled del gozo del Espíritu with, Santo. With the joy of the Holy Dale Spirit. Can I, come on, eso. let's give him all of the glory. Hay una segunda verdad fundamental. Now there's a second truth that's fundamental. Y es una pasión santa. And that's a passion. 
passion, a holy passion. Una holy passion. Yes, santa, pasión santa. <laughs> a veces los latinos somos muy apasionados. In our Latin culture, we're very passionate. Pero tenemos una idea infantil de qué es la pasión. But sometimes we have just this, this idea that's very childish. Childish. Creemos que solo se trata de emociones pasajeras. Sometimes we think that it's only about feelings that actually mira, just pass. Mira este texto maravilloso. But look Segunda what the, 2 Second Timothy 2.22 says the following. Flee the evil desires of youth and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. En inglés dice deseos. In English it says desires. Pero en español dice pasiones. But in Spanish it says passion. ¿Y cuáles son las pasiones juveniles? And what are those uh, juvenile passions? Suelen ser fama. Maybe it's fame. Dinero. Money. Poder. Power. Y sexo. And sex. Y no tienen nada de malo en sí esas cosas. And none of those things are bad in themselves. Pero cuando son pasiones juveniles. But when they are passions of the youth. Nos invitan a una vida desordenada. Then they make our life just out of order. El dinero es obviamente algo bueno. Right? Money is something good. Pero si el dinero te controla, but if money controls you, te puede hacer una persona egoísta. then it can make you very selfish. El sexo es algo bueno. Sex is something very Dios good. Dios lo creó God created para it compartir amor. so that you can share love. Para hacer sentir mejor a otra persona. That you would make somebody feel good. Para producir placer. To produce pleasure. Y para multiplicarnos. And to multiply. El sexo es maravilloso. Yeah, sex is wonderful. Pero mal usado. But if you use it in the Wrong También way, nos puede lastimar. It could also hurt us. Así que lo que necesitamos so what we need es una pasión superior. Is that we need a superior y este passion. texto nos habla de esto. And this text talks Deuteronomio about capítulo 6, versículo 5. Deuteronomy 6, 5 says Dice lo siguiente. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Esa debe ser nuestra pasión. That should be our passion. Darle nuestro corazón a Dios. Give our heart to God. Que Él nos apasione. That he would be our passion. No las cosas pasajeras de este mundo. Not the things that pass of this world. Repito. I repeat. El dinero es genial. Money is wonderful. O, o la fama puede ser una buena right? herramienta. Fame is such a good tool. Y el dinero es eh, algo que podemos usar and, para ayudar a otras personas. And money we can use in lots of good ways to Lo help mismo other es people. el poder. Also power. El poder es la capacidad de influencia. Right? It's the capacity of influence. Todas estas people. cosas son buenas. All of these things are good. Pero no podemos dejar que controlen nuestro corazón. But we can't allow these things to control el our único hearts. que puede controlar nuestro corazón the only one that can control our heart es Dios. Is God. Y esto se hace a través de la oración. And this we do by the means of prayer. Cultivar nuestra relación con él. To cultivate our relationship with God. Tristemente, sadly, a veces al viajar mucho, when I travel a lot, y visitar muchas iglesias, and I visit a lot of churches, noto que tenemos mucha religiosidad en I, cuanto a la oración. I notice that there's a lot of religiosity when we're talking about prayer. Yo, por ejemplo, veo gente, I see people, que cuando habla contigo de cualquier cosa, that when they talk to you about anything, habla con normalidad, they talk normal. Hasta que le toca orar. Until they begin to pray. Y cuando le toca orar, and when they begin to empieza pray, a tener tonos extraños. They begin to have a tone y empieza a usar palabras raras. And they begin to use words y like empiezan really a citar los words. versículos más raros de la Biblia. And they begin to quote like the weirdest <laughs> Bible verses ever. Eso no tiene nada que ver con la oración But that's not que alimenta una pasión santa. The prayer that actually comes to bring nutrition to that passion, that holy passion. La oración que alimenta una pasión santa the prayer that brings growth into your holy passion es un diálogo honesto. It's just this honest dialogue. Una conversación sincera. A sincere conversation. E íntima. Intimate. Con nuestro Papá Celestial. With our heavenly Father. Un día yo estaba mirando la tele en casa. One day I was watching TV at home. Estaba sentado en el sillón. And I was sitting there on the couch. Y mi hijita Sophie. And my youngest daughter Sophie. Viene corriendo hacia mí. Came running towards me. En esta situación. In the situation. Hace unos años. A few years back. Ellos usualmente se me hubiera tirado encima. They would have like jumped on top me of me. Me hubiera preguntado dónde estaba mamá. Right, she would ask where's mom. Me hubiera pedido que le ponga una peli. She would ask me to put on a, a, a movie. O algo para tomar. Or something or have Pero esta something vez, to drink. But this time, ella se detiene. She, you know, she's 
like she pauses y me mira and she looks at me con ojos de anime with these eyes of anime <laughs> y veo que está pensando lo que me va a decir and I, I see that she's thinking about what she's going to say le, le pregunté qué pasa mi amor and I was like babe what's wrong with you y pasaron unos segundos y no me decía nada and a few seconds passed and she wouldn't say anything yo vi que estaba pensando lo que me iba a decir and I saw that she was like thinking about what she was going to say y de repente to me. se me ocurre and then all of a sudden I just had the idea ¿Qué tal si Sophie what if Sophie en vez de decirme en vez de decirme papi dónde está mami Instead of saying like, "Dad, where's mom?" Oh, papi, ponemos una peli. Or, Dad, let's put on a movie. Me dijera. What if she would have said? Oh, padre, que vengo a tu presencia. Oh, heavenly father, I come before your presence. Se me ocurrió eso y me asusté. And I just, I just had that thought and I got scared. Porque si mi hijita me hablara así, because if my daughter would speak to me in that way, yo pensaría que tiene un problema. I would think she has mental issues. Y perdonen. And I'm sorry. Yo no quiero ofender a nadie. I don't want to offend anybody. Pero debo decir, but I need to say this. Que Dios debe pensar lo mismo cuando le hablamos raro. But sometimes God might think that about us when we talk to Him all weird. Jesús. Jesus, al enseñarnos a orar, when he showed us how to pray, nos dejó esa oración que conocemos como el Padre nuestro. He left this beautiful outline. It's um, our Father. Pero en otra ocasión fue más allá. But in another occasion, he went even further. Nos enseñó a orar diciendo Abba. He showed us to pray and says, um, "Our Father, Abba, Abba. Abba. Father, yes, Abba." Uh -huh. ¿Qué quiere decir papito? That has to say like Daddy. Es un diálogo bien personal. It's this really personal bien dialogue. Cercano. It's just you have to be so close. Y cuando cultivamos ese estilo de oración. And when we cultivate this style of prayer. ¿Sabes qué es lo que sucede? You know what happens? En nuestro corazón that in our hearts, va creciendo la pasión it begins, uh, the passion for him que hay en el corazón grow, de Dios. Begins to grow the same passion that's in his heart. Y eso nos llena de su espíritu. And that fills with this, his Holy Spirit. Así que ya hablamos de propósito. Now we talked about purpose. De pasión. We talked about passion. Y hay una tercera palabra fundamental. And there's another third word that's También fundamental. También comienza con P. And it's also P word. Y <laughs> es perseverancia. And it's perseverance. Mira este texto. And Let's read James 1, 2 to 15. It says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not accept, expect to receive anything from the Lord. Such a person is double-minded and unstable in all they do. Believers in humble circumstances ought to take pride in their high position, but the rich should take pride in their humiliation, since they will pass away like a wild flower. For the sun rises with scorching heat and withers the plants. Its blossoms falls and its beauty is destroyed. In the same way, the rich will fade away even while they go about their business. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trials because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life and the Lord has promised to those who love him. When tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. But each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desires and enticed. Then after the desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin And sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. Wow. Hay muchas cosas para destacar en este texto. So many things we can, you know, pull apart in this text. Destaquemos algunas. But let's talk about a few. La primera es el final. The first is the end. El pecado. Sin. Mata. Kills. Seca. It dries. Roba. It steals. Y arruina. And it ruins. Por eso es que Dios odia el pecado. That's why God hates sin. No porque él es malo. Not because he is bad. Sino porque él es bueno. But because he is good. Él no quiere que nos lastimemos. He doesn't want us to get hurt. Él quiere ayudarnos he a wants disfrutar. He to help us so that we can um, disfrutar una vida con él. Enjoy. So we can enjoy. Y hay otra. So there's another thing. Eh, cosa fundamental aquí. Hay dos circunstancias en las cuales perseverar. Por un lado hay pruebas. In one instance, 
there's trials. Y por el otro lado hay tentaciones. Then there's temptations. Las pruebas vienen de Dios. The trials come from God. Nos ayudan a crecer. They help us to grow. Las tentaciones no. The temptations do not Las come from God. Las tentaciones vienen del diablo. Come from the devil. Y tienen el objetivo de destruirnos. And their objective is to destroy us. Pero mira qué interesante. But look how interesting this Aún is. ellas Even then, también son una oportunidad de crecer. Temptations are an opportunity to grow. Cuando estamos agarrados de Dios. When we are taking the hand of God. <laughs> Así que aún las pruebas y las tentaciones so both trials and temptations pueden ayudarnos. Can help us. Por eso el texto comienza, ahora sí llegamos al principio. And that's why the text begins and that's diciendo, the beginning saying hasta tengan alegría de que vienen pruebas y problemas. That we should consider it pure joy when we porque face trials of Porque many las times. dificultades because it's in these difficulties nos ayudan a perseverar. Help us to persevere. Y la perseverancia fundamental and that fundamental perseverance para el éxito en todas las áreas so de la vida. So that we can have um, so we can have éxito. Success. Uh, success in everything, sorry. No hay ninguna manera There's no way de ser una persona exitosa en serio that we can be a successful person, seriously successful person sin perseverancia. If we do not persevere. En el deporte. In, it could be, you know, playing a sport. En los negocios. In our business. En la academia. You know, at school. Siempre necesitamos perseverancia. We always need to persevere. Y por eso debemos agradecer cuando tenemos exámenes. And that's why we have to be like thankful when we have a test. Y aun cuando llegan las tentaciones. And even when the temptation Porque comes. Porque agarraditos de Dios. Because when we are taking the hand of God. Las podemos superar. Then we can come, come in. Para ser más fuertes. And we can become even stronger. Hay algunos casados por ahí. Are there some people that are married in, the, in this place? Is anybody married? Is there anybody married? Te voy a dar un ejemplo que no te va a gustar. So I'm going to give you an example you're not going to like. A veces le pedimos a Dios paciencia. Sometimes we ask God for patience. Y Dios envía a tu suegra a vivir a tu casa. And then God, right, brings your mother-in-law to live with you. <laughs> Esas son las pruebas. That is a trial, <laughs> a Pero test. Pero nos ayudan a crecer. But they help us to grow. Dios quiere que disfrutemos una vida en el Espíritu. God wants us to enjoy this life y eso in the se logra. and we can get to that Abrazando point su propósito para nuestras vidas. Right? when we embrace his purpose for our lives Cultivando una pasión santa. when we cultivate a holy passion y perseverando. and when we persevere perseverando las pruebas. persevere in trials y perseverando ante las tentaciones. and persevering in temptations las tentaciones quieren arruinarte. the temptations want to ruin Porque you el pecado mata. oh because sin kills Rompe. right it destroys Roba. it steals Seca. It dries. Por eso tenemos que estar agarrados That's why we have to take de Dios. The hand of God. Cultivar una Cultivate pasión santa this holy passion y perseguir nuestro propósito. And just pursue our purpose. Y aún en las pruebas, and even in the trials, perseverar. We persevere. De nuevo, con pasión. Again with passion. Y recordando nuestro propósito. And re always remembering our purpose. Y se cierra el círculo. And then we close the circle. El gozo del Espíritu brota that nuestras joy vidas. of the Holy Spirit just comes out of our lives la vida because we are living the lives que el Señor quiere que that God wants us to live. Ponte de pie conmigo. I want you to stand on your feet. El Señor quiere que te vaya bien. Our God wants you to live good. Dios siempre quiere algo bueno. Oh, he always wants something good. Porque él es bueno. Because he is good. El amor es su naturaleza. His love is his nature. Es su esencia. It's his essence. Eso no significa que es ese viejito. That doesn't mean that he's that old que guy. Que le parece que todo es lindo. That everything is just like everything's perfect. No, Dios no. odia el pecado. No, he hates sin. Pero Dios odia el pecado porque te ama. But God hates sin because he loves Porque you. No quiere que te lastimes. Because he doesn't want you to get hurt. Él quiere bendecirte. He wants to bless you. Pero a ti te toca creer. But you have to believe. Te toca creer lo que enseña la Biblia. Your job is to believe what the Bible teaches. La Biblia enseña and the Bible teaches que tú tienes un propósito. That you have a purpose. Representar la gracia de Dios. To represent the grace of God. 
que tú puedes cultivar una pasión that, santa. That you can cultivate a holy no las pasiones juveniles y del Not mundo, the world, sino la pasión del corazón but de that Dios. Of the heart of God. Cuando lo ponemos a Dios primero, When we put God first, todo lo demás se ordena. All the other just fall into place. Y cuando llegan las circunstancias difíciles, And when those are just nos toca perseverar. Play, then we persevere. El apóstol Pablo le dice a los gálatas, Paul says to the church in Galatia, no te canses de hacer el bien. Do not get tired of doing good. Obviamente a veces nos cansamos. But obviously sometimes we get tired. Pero persevera. But we persevere. Porque vale la pena. Because it's, it's worth it. Porque el Señor está contigo. Because God is with us. Porque el Señor quiere que disfrutes Because una God vida wants you llena to have de su Espíritu. The best life filled with una vida His Holy Spirit. llena de poder. A life filled with una vida His power. Poderosa. A powerful life diga con gracia that blesses a otras personas to all the other people God bless you God bless you let's